ever economic value added is a financial in calculating eva the first thing to do is to calculate the operating profit after taxes operating profit after taxes operating profit after taxes when using this approach first of all we calculate the operating profit after taxes operating profits after taxes after taxes what we call no part net operating profit after tax and that is the company's uh, operating profit minus taxes then number 2 is to calculate the capital charge calculate the capital calculate the capital charge the capital charge and how do we calculate the capital charge we calculate the capital charge by multiplying the company's capital employed by its weighted average cost of capital this is equal to capital employed times the weighted average cost of capital then three calculate eva which is the other difference between the no part and uh, the capital charge which is equal to no part minus capital charge which is equal to capital employed times the weighted average cost of capital it is that simple candidates that's how to calculate now what i mean the eva do you have an illustration the following financial data related to penguin limited for the year ended 31st december 2020 we have the statement of financial position as at 31st december 2020 we have the statement for profit or loss for the year 31st december 2020 additional information Number one, the firm's cost of equity is 12%. Corporation tax rate is 30%. Interest rate on debt is 10%. Required. Compute the economic value added of the company. So we're going to get the cost of capital. We have it. Then you have cost of debt. Let's go through the question. Are you able to see it? Or I need to enlarge it? So we need to determine the after tax operating income. We need the cost of capital. We need the capital invested. The capital employed. So we need to calculate ever. To calculate ever, we need to determine the after tax operating income after tax operating income solution ever is equal to after tax operating income minus 
minus minus capital employed times work minus capital invested times work We are deducting these two things, income and cost. This is income, this is cost, cost of capital, this is cost of capital. This is a percentage, this is the amount. Please get the understanding. ever measures a company's profitability in excess of its cost of capital. It measures a company's profitability. So this is income and this is the cost. Income minus cost. We get the ever economic value added. So what is the operating income? Look at the statement. We have net sales, deduct cost of sales, you have the gross profit, deduct operating expenses, you have the operating profit, deduct the interest expense, you have the profit before tax. Then when we deduct you deduct operation tax of 81. You have profit after tax of 189. Then you have the statement of financial position. Then on current assets, you have the current assets. Then you have debt and equity. Debt and equity. Operating profit is 300. Operating profit is 300. The interest expense is 30. Then we have, at what point we apply the tax? Profit after taxes. So, candidates, the the after tax operating income. We need our working for after tax operating income. Workings. After tax operating income. After tax operating income. The after tax operating income. We are applying the tax rate on the operating profit. So, what is the operating profit? Operating profit is 300 million. The tax is 30 percent times 300 million, which I think here is just 90. Is it 90 million? So deduct that will give you the after tax operating income, which is just what 210 million. So the after tax operating income is 210 million and not what is shown in the question there, 189. Net operating profit after tax, look at this no, no part, operating profit after tax, 
operating profit operating profit that is the profit after deducting the operating expenses from the gross profit what you get after deducting operating expenses is the operating profit that operating profit of 300 million put up the question let's have the question look at that question look at the question candidates we are applying the taxation rate on the operating profit and not the profit after tax of 189 okay we apply the tax on the operating profit so the after tax operating profit our no part is 210 million so that is the income we deduct the cost the cost so what is the capital invested capital employed is just the total assets 400 correct fraction it's 400 million how about the work we need the working for the work weighted average cost of capital remember we say that weighted average cost of weighted average cost of capital is equal to the weight of equity plus a weight of debt one minus t we have the weight we have the cost of debt and we have the cost the cost of debt is 10% uh, from the question the interest rate of debt then there is the cost of equity 12% we need to do to, to to do the weights and the weight we use what is written there financed by financed by we get the weight equity is 260 so we weight it we will take the 260 we divide by the 400 that is the weight we multiply cost of equity plus the other one is 140 is it not 140 over 400 that will be the weight cost of debt i think is 10 percent one minus 0 0.3 taxation rate is the uh, 30 percent what is the cost of equity from the question cost of equity is 12 percent so times 12 percent so that will be the weighted average cost of capital Gilbert says it's 10.25. Abram, where did you get 0 0.65? Is it 10.25? 10 10.25%. 10 so that will give us the EBA. Gilbert says 169, pressure 169. So ever 169 million.